Reporter Shadrach Kareria gives us uh, details of um, how members of parliament are getting ready for house business next week. And we do expect that um, President William Ruto to officially grace that particular one next week, today. At, uh, the, the National Assembly, where the President William Ruto is expected to arrive any time here uh, to actually open the 13th Parliament, and this will be his first, um, this will be his first joint sitting since uh, he was elected in the August of 9, 2022. The President, once he arrives at this place, the first thing he'll do is actually inspect the Guard of Honor that is prepared, uh, being hosted by the, the Air Force army and as we have seen we've witnessed in a few minutes ago the army the militants who are here marching in preparation for the same event and now as we can see behind me the security here is highly maintained you see this is a has been a very busy uh, way uh, to the national uh, parliament the parliament road had been very busy but today as you can see they are only the only people uh, personnel who are expected or who are authorized rather allowed to pass through these uh, road are uh, only the price and uh, maybe the the police officers and other security uh, officers they are the only people expected or allowed to pass uh, through this particular uh, place once the president arrived here some of the things that you expect to see is that uh, his uh, flag will uh, be raised uh, maybe uh, the presidential flag will be raised we've seen um, the national flag then the president will uh, have his, uh, his space somewhere at the gate the entrance of the the senate where you will actually after after going through maybe uh, some um, activities that is uh, including them um, going uh, or rather going through or seeing what the militants have prepared for him the president is expected to join the senators and the members of parliament inside the parliament building where he is expected to 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 have maybe to have his speech the president some of the things that we expect to hear from the president today are among the issues affecting the countries currently we expect him to talk about the issue of the food uh, price we expect him to talk about the food of the country's economy the agriculture the drought we understand that some countries have been affected by the drought situation those are some of the key things we are expecting the president to actually uh, talk about today in his speech once the president arrived here uh, the national assembly and uh, we expect also to see the speaker of the national assembly as well as the speaker of the senate uh, in the building where the both of them will share a common uh, agenda that is the speech from the president after these now the parliament will fully uh, continue with their mandate the newly elected mps as, as well as those other the early MPs who have been in power or in the seat will have time maybe to conduct or to carry out their mandate. We've seen some preparation going on here until now. Um, the army are still preparing for something. Um, as you can see, maybe if you can uh, look at the further end there, you can see the vehicle, uh, the army vehicle, or maybe securing securing this place to ensure that no vehicles enters this uh, side direction uh, we've seen the police officers uh, everywhere and uh, we also seen uh, the militant military police uh, to that is an assurance that president will be making his way here at the national assembly and we've seen um, if my camera person just to show you some of the things we expect uh, we see here we've seen the security is highly maintained the president is expected to uh, come here any time from now we are told that around 11 that is when we expect to see the president William Ruto uh, coming here with his uh, the deputy president and uh, this is a D-Day for the president since it is his first uh, joint sitting in the National Assembly to give a go ahead to the members of the parliament so that uh, they can go on uh, with their mandate as the members of parliament and the senators as well. So we'll be uh, keeping here, we'll be staying here to just uh, keep our viewers updated on some of things that are happening here at the National Assembly where President William Ruto is actually expected to arrive here with other leaders uh, such as we, we might also attend here with um, the MPs, the cabinet secretaries who were actually uh, appointed a few days ago. And uh, those are some of the things that we expect to see uh, here at the National Assembly.
I will be here. Stay tuned to our viewers. I want to tell them that we will keep you updated on every single occasion that will happen, that will take place here at the National Assembly. Back to you, studio. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Shadrach Kareria, with that update.